Here we're looking at uh, the target medical biochemistry uh, that we want to have on real-time meters uh, on an epidermal band-aid-like biostamp uh, to measure the real-time uh, health parameters. Obviously, we're looking at things like cortisol affecting people's health. And uh, we're looking at uh, the neurotransmitters and we're looking at the insulin response of their pancreas and we're looking at the endorphins that people are generating during exercise. So obviously in the endorphins that they're generating during exercise is both oxygenating the body and let me add that to um, let me uh, go over here shut this window in the laboratory here and uh, let's go down right over here to put uh, to put uh, O2 sets on here so what we're looking to do is we're looking to have a bio stamp patch architected by MC10 Inc. Uh, uh, and or uh, by my future company Nano BioWave. You can see that at widgetverticals.com. And I've got uh, uh, things I want to monitor on a real time. So um, I want to monitor uh, my sleep apnea. Uh, And we're going to do those all with the BioStamp platform from MC10 Inc. And we're going to probably license that technology from the Rogers Research Group at the University of Illinois and uh, make an independent organization called NanoBioWave. You can see that at widgetverticals.com. So anyway, this is what we're looking at um, for public safety and protect the American people with real-time health care. Uh, we're, we're noticing health is becoming a public safety problem. And what we want to do is we want to track everyone's O2 sats 24-7. We want to track their sleep apnea uh, and uh, diabetes 24-7. I'm going to track all the neurotransmitters 24-7. Cortisol is one of the big killers, but cortisol... Uh, is affected by uh, obesity and obesity is simply the habit of eating too much so what happens is uh, what people do is they want to get a uh, they want to get a dopamine they want to get a dopamine or a neurotransmitter rush. They want to get high by eating. So what happens is when we eat, we don't recognize it, or we do recognize it. Some of us do and don't. The foods we eat have a glycemic index. Then we get a glucose spike, which makes us feel good. That's like a sugar high. And then we get an insulin spike, which affects dopamine. So all this kind of gets us high from eating. So everybody, whether you know it or not, has a little bit of an eating disorder. Uh, every single person does. So what's happening to America is they're getting obese because they're not tracking the glycemic index of every meal and their O2 sats 24-7 and their sleep apnea signals and their cortisol stress levels and their testosterone and adrenaline and uh, the white blood cell deployment because as you're manipulating all these cortisol, the stress hormone can obviously affect your immune system which is the white blood cell deployment and there's all kinds of white blood cells so these are just a few of the signals I'm going to be tracking with the BioStamp platform from MC10 Inc. 
you can check that out at mc10inc.com. Um, um, I'm going to be licensing the same technology that they've licensed here from the Rogers Research Group at the University of Illinois, Urbana. And what I'm going to be doing is deploying my teams throughout the university networks. Uh, they're called nano biowave teams. And we're going to be bringing a lot more sensors and electronics onto this biostamp platform that MC10 licensed from the University of Illinois, Urbana. And these are just uh, what I want to drive to market. My specialty is I work with the military and high technology companies to drive a lot of technology to market. And a lot of the technology I drive to market, they don't really want to know uh, uh, you know, it's it, a lot of it is driving technology to market, um, producing value, and we wouldn't necessarily articulate the whys and what we're doing. But right now, I can I can say this much: we're going to be of uh, we're going to be looking at all medical physiology and all medical biochemistry. And um, we're going to be uh, we're going to be putting measuring a lot of these in real time using the BioStamp platform from MC10 Inc. And just to make sure that we have an independent team, uh, we're going to have nano biowave teams to license that technology independently uh, from the University of Illinois Urbana and possibly from military program offices that are engaged in technology transfer for the health of the military and law enforcement and the citizens. And so as I noticed that a lot of people are going around and around in the same loop uh, in their life uh, they didn't have the capability to really monitor these things in real time and you know the way it works is you have to pay experts to monitor you and then who's going to be the expert that gets paid and you know everybody wants to be the millionaire that's monitoring everybody and then the people are like oh we don't want to be monitored and so I have to have a company that's independent so that I can really have my own insurance product line and technology and my own path to the customer which is why I architected the vision of Nano BioWave, which you can see at widgetverticals.com. But it really starts off by monitoring in real time a lot of fundamental signals that aren't really being monitored on everybody. Um, first, we didn't have the technology. Now that we have the technology, there's the, cap the big capital powers, uh, whether it's, you know, whether it's United Healthcare um, competing with Thermo Fisher competing with Wall Street, competing with the different countries of labor in India and China. Everybody wants to be the expert controlling, uh, you know, adding 10, 20, 30 years to your life. Because obviously the first people can add 30 years to the human lifespan, you know, they're going to get a certain capital gain uh, or sets of capital gains associated with that. And um, so that's that's what it's all about is producing value in terms of intellectual property, but also getting the right teams of labor together. And the regulators are in on this too, so the FDA is saying, well, we think the big companies are in a better position to drive this stuff to market. I personally think I'm in the best position to drive this stuff to market uh, because I've operated uh, with the military to drive technology to market, and I've operated with... Uh, big industry to drive technology to market. And I feel that small companies can drive technology to market much, much faster uh, and produce much more value uh, much faster. Uh, and, the, and the reason is uh, you can look at the number of small companies, startups that the big companies are buying up since they, they know this. And so if you look at how many companies Cisco buys per year or Google buys per year, or Thermo Fisher buys per year, 
or IBM buys per year, and even the United States military and its subsidiaries, uh, uh, defense contractors like Raytheon, L3 Communications, General Dynamics, BAE Systems. So they're all buying up labor and intellectual property. And so everybody knows that the small companies and the value comes with the individual and the small company. So what I'm trying to do is bring out the value in every individual by having this type of biostamp platform that's being developed by MC10 Inc. Uh, I want to license it uh, both from MC10 Inc. Uh, if I can, uh, but also independently so that I will have a non-blocking path to market so that when I want to measure all the medical physiology and all the medical biochemistry uh it's my company that's going to the top of the dow jones or my company that's going to be the uh you know merging with dell as a private company uh while everyone's um doing the next cloud board that's going to bring the united states uh back to uh the winning the winning edge so we're looking at the dell cloud now dell is private uh, I like the Dell cloud boards. I like the Dell uh, being private. I think when you're a private company, you can obviously you can see what you can do when you're private. Uh, you can uh, you can do a lot. Now Medtronic has a big uh, stake in this company here, so you know they could be uh, in a buyout scenario. I don't know. Dell ju just went private a while ago, so they are really. Um, they are really going to be doing a lot of things for the cloud. So as as telecom and cable and satellite and and the optical infrastructure and small cell networks and wireless and uh, you know and WiMAX all merged to have these Dell cloud boards with all kinds of communication capability and of course unlimited storage and unlimited processing power um, and, and and cloud access. The sensors and then the enterprise platforms and the enterprise applications that are going to do all this big data stuff. Uh, by the way, we're looking at the IBM cloud too uh, and, and the Dell hardware. Uh, the IBM hardware and, and enterprise cloud and the Dell hardware and enterprise cloud. I really like uh, both of those a lot to be able to implement this. And uh, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm looking at what uh, medical biochemistry and medical physiology I want to monitor with a biostamp platform that is licensed by MC10 from the University of Illinois Urbana and uh, I'm looking at um, people owning their own automated health command and control intelligence uh, using IBM and Dell cloud hardware. That means the PC that we once owned in the 90s is going to now be the mini supercomputer, but it's going to look just like a fancy PC in everyone's home. That's going to happen within the next five years. So obviously, uh, Dell and IBM are positioning themselves for that revolution that is going on right now and will certainly happen over the next five years. You can see what we're doing here as we get into real-time preventive health care. We're looking at the players and the stakeholders. And believe me, the stakeholders uh, are all of us. All of us have all this happening uh, every day uh, in our bodies and all of us are going to benefit if we find out how to expand extend the human lifespan from you know 70 years to 80 to 90 to eventually 150 years 200 years and i know it sounds far-fetched right now but as soon as we simulate all this stuff the 50 trillion cells in our body and the 500 trillion bacteria along with all this real-time medical biochemistry and we understand the formation of all chronic disease with respect to this uh, really people can see this in their head I'm uh, sort of an expert at simulating a lot of this stuff and understanding well if we can't measure it simulate it vision it control it and and understand what enterprise architectures and platform architectures that we have to form to do this then we wouldn't be able to create the value so there's a lot of people looking to create value in this but it's still going to be a lot of the big players there and, and the regulators and the governments that are that are sort of setting the pace forward that's where entrepreneurs come in they say well you know 
I wish I, I wish I uh, sometimes I wish the United States government would set the pace forward at the, pr the proper rate, but I think it takes entrepreneurs, and so the United States government really does partner with entrepreneurs in many cases. In a lot of cases, the big companies are writing the regulations, and we all know how that works. The big capital, the big companies write the regulatory uh, the re policy to help them. And then they're saying they're just saying, well, we're going to recruit the young people into these armies of people, and we will um, maintain a monopoly over the revenues. So that's why the entrepreneurs emerge because they say, well, you know what? Guess what? I want to become a billionaire, and so I'm going to I bet you a lot of people who want to work for me want to become millionaires. I know they do because I did once, and now it's time for me to become a billionaire. So I want to I want to talk that talk because I want to tell you what I'm doing, and uh, this is going to be good for America, good for public safety good for the healthcare industry, and when someday you have nanobiowave insurance, and that means you're buying an IBM or Dell cloud platform, and it, you're just a regular citizen buying that platform, and you have MC10 or uh, other kinds of biostamp like hardware measuring all this medical physiology on a health command center in your home and the government says oh we don't think you're smart enough to know all that or the healthcare says well you need a certified individual to know all that maybe that the certified individuals who do know all that maybe they'll be licensed from the nano biowave real-time health signals intelligence authority um, so that's uh, what we're thinking here. This is Michael Hughes, architecting the company NanoBioWave. You can see the detailed architecture at widgetverticals.com. And um, have a good day, and uh, thank you very much for listening.